the General's Handbook. Uh, this time around I want to give you a brief look at the German faction in the game, what units they bring to the table and how they use it. Uh, for this I've set up the Battle of Falaise mission. Um, just to show you the beginning of uh, the missions here, we have some tanks ready and some very iconic uh, units for the, the Germans. So uh, of course we have uh, Tiger 1E here. Uh, we have several um, variants of the Panzer IV, Panzer IV H, Panzer IV G. Uh, we have the Panzer A here, very nice uh, setup. Uh, we have a Jagdpanzer IV here, and also we have Panzerwehr 42, which is a very nice uh, long range artillery unit. Uh, we have a Wirbelwind, also special, special anti aircraft gun units there, and some of the iconic uh, trucks of the age as well, like the Opel Blitz supply vehicle here. Uh, also, what we see here at the beginning of the mission, we have a downed elephant here. Uh, so it actually lacks uh, a crew and some uh, uh, some repairs and some ammunition as well. So let's get some of our, our boys uh, working on this as well. Get them in here. Try to uh, use this tank uh, as soon as we set up a crew in it. Uh, the Opel Blitz supply vehicle guys will come out and start re-ammunition, uh, re, uh, yeah, uh, resupplying it with ammunition and uh, I will bring in the uh, repair vehicle as well so we can get rid of the problems with the engine and uh, the tracks as well. Um, so as soon as we bring that up and running again, uh, we can use the Elephant, one of the biggest units we have in the game as well. Very iconic for the age as well, and uh, a real monster if you see it uh, plowing through the fields uh, of France. Here. Let's jump into another mission, actually, um, which is the Bulge mission. Yeah, in, in the Bulge mission we can actually see uh, a lot more of the late war uh, units there as well. Let's jump in here. Uh, Bulge, as you know, one of the uh, last big pushes of uh, the Germans to try to break out of the already besieged area around Germany uh, into the uh, dense forests uh, section. Uh, and in this, of course, they bring out like the last reserves of really strong uh, late war uh, tank units that they that they have, for example, like the Panther. D uh, variant here, a very nice, really strong tank, but of course uh, the iconic King Tiger here as well, uh, uh, really a monster of a tank uh, and, and really strong here as an elite version as well. Um, one thing I'd like to point your attention to here is that uh, the armored commander also has the ability to use improvised armor for uh, their units. In the case of the Germans, they actually put uh, spare chain links to uh, and some steel uh, appliances here to their uh, holes of the tanks to uh, actually uh, reduce the risk of critical hits uh, in in this. Uh, actually, all the uh, all the other factions uh, use different improvised armor. Uh, the the uh, Allied faction uses uh, well. Sandbag, uh, sandbags on their uh, on their tanks, and the Soviets use uh, improvised armor using wooden locks. Uh, so that is something something uh, very interesting and makes for a very unique look for each faction. Uh, let's let's get the the strong units ro rolling here a bit. Uh, there's some some allies waiting in the tree lines here. But uh, I think the Shermans don't really stand a, a, stand, uh, a chance against this uh, this really huge King Tiger uh, rolling through the snow here. I'd like to show you uh, at the end of this little video a cool small feature that we have in the game. And I'll show you that in the mission. Operation Barbarossa, which most of you will know is the big push of the German forces into heartland of the Soviet Union. Um, around 3 million uh, German soldiers being part of uh, this attack. Uh, and uh, they, the Germans actually, uh, in a lot of, uh, of this, used uh, Blitzkrieg tactics with this. Uh, so they would try to push through the enemy defense lines and then mop up the rest of uh, the defenses from the backside. 
so quickly with their uh, really strong and, and versatile tank units uh, that uh, sometimes the, the enemy didn't even know what hit them. So uh, in this case, uh, you will see here that there's a strong uh, uh, Soviet defense line here. I have already broken through parts of this. Uh, so uh, what you will see is that as soon as I start mopping up the, uh, the rest of the, the enemy units here, um, uh, you will see that some of the units in the trenches will actually give up, put up their hands to surrender uh, to my units. Uh, you see here the crew of the 45mm anti-tank gun is also giving up. Uh, you might think that this is a scripted event and yes it is uh, much likely to, uh, to actually uh, happen in this particular mission but uh, that is because uh, actually it is a dynamic system. So um, whenever an AI group encounters uh, one of your uh, units uh, or a group of your units, they will evaluate if they can win the fight or not. If they can't, um, then it depends on what kind of morale they have or let's say what kind of uh, how brave they are. This, this is a setting that we give them. Um, if, the, uh, if the units are very brave, have a setting of a high braveness, let's say, then uh, then they will actually fight much longer, even if they think that uh, the 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 odds are against them. But uh, if the uh, units are not so brave, or we put them as being not so brave, like in this instance, then uh, you would actually be able uh, you would actually see them giving up much much. Uh, quicker than uh, normally so they will actually surrender or they will call in help uh, so in this case uh, the Russians see that you're actually coming from uh, the backside and with a lot of firepower of the German Wehrmacht and uh, they are giving up in this particular case and yes you'll be able to uh, set all these settings for AI controlled units in the modding tools that we'll be providing at launch as well so Please come back for uh, the third part of this faction uh, part of the uh, General's Handbook, which uh, will uh, focus on the Soviet forces in Sunset.